Yo, in this video, I am going to show you guys how to boost your FPS in Fortnite. It doesn't matter whether you're on a low-end PC or a high-end, it is guaranteed that these settings will boost your FPS. So make sure to watch until the end because these settings are going to help you guys out. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time, so let's get right into the video. So for any console players who is watching the video, make sure you have motion blur turned off. For this next step, we're going to be turning off hardware acceleration. So if you're on PC, I'm assuming, and you have Discord open while you're playing, you need to go into your settings, go to advanced, and uncheck hardware acceleration. You can do the same thing for Spotify and your browser. Now going into Spotify, go into your settings, then scroll all the way to the bottom, and make sure enable hardware acceleration is turned off. And now in your browser, whether it is Chrome or Microsoft Edge, it does not matter. You need to go into your settings. The easiest way to do this is to just type in hardware and it should pop up. So make sure you use hardware acceleration when available is turned off. Turning off all of these hardware acceleration settings will improve your game's performance and it will give you more FPS. So for this next step, you need to be on your desktop. What you want to do is press the Windows key and R. Doing this will open up Run. Then you want to type in percent temp percent, then press OK. Doing this will open up your files and you should see a bunch of unnecessary files. These files are just sitting in your cache and taking up extra space. I would scroll through all of them just to make sure there is no familiar files that you need. So once you're done looking, you can press Ctrl and A and then right click and delete the files. There should be no files on here that you need, which is why you should double check just in case. So for this next step, we're going to be going into our game mode settings. So go to your taskbar and type in game mode settings. You want to make sure you have game mode on and you guys can see under related settings, it should say graphic settings. You want to click on that and it should say graphics performance preference. You want to make sure choose an app to set preference is set to desktop app. Then you want to click on browse. So you want to go to your drive that has your Fortnite game installed in it. Then you want to go to your program files and go to Epic Games, go to Fortnite. Fortnite, go to Fortnite game, go to binaries, go to Win64. Then you guys should see where it says Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exe. If for some reason you don't see it just like me, you can select the Fortnite file that does have the largest size. Then you want to click on it and go to options and make sure it is set to high performance. You can do this for any other game that you're playing if you do need a better performance. And you guys can see where it says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This is going to be preference if you do want to keep this on or off. It does say that it will reduce latency and improve your performance. So you guys can can just test this out yourself to see if you do want to have this setting on. So you guys need to go into your NVIDIA control panel for this next step. You guys can just copy all of these settings, but the most important settings that you need to have on is low latency mode and power management mode. So for low latency mode, you can have this set to on, but if you are on a newer graphics card, then I would recommend setting this to ultra. Having low latency mode set to on or ultra is going to improve your delay, and having power management mode set to prefer maximum performance is going to make your PC use more of its power. And by your PC doing that, you are going to have more FPS inside of your game. So your PC is going to use more of its power so it can get more FPS in game. So those are the two most important settings I would recommend you guys having on, but other than that you guys can just copy all of these settings. These settings are all completely optimized to boost your FPS and to reduce your delay. And now before I do go into Fortnite to show you guys the best in-game settings, we need to go into the Epic Games Launcher. So if you're in your Epic Games Launcher, go to your library, and now all the way to your right to your Fortnite game, you should see three dots. You want to click on that and then go to your options. So now you want to make sure you have high resolution textures on checked and also if you don't play save the world then you can uncheck that as well turning high res textures off will make your game process and run faster since we are getting rid of the high textures and doing this is going to also make your game feel less delayed and also you are freeing up a little bit more space on your pc and now once you're done with that you just want to click on apply and now you're going to have the high resolution textures turned off so now i am going to show you guys the best in-game settings to use in fortnite all right so now we are in our fortnite settings so now the first settings we're going to be looking at is our game settings and now looking at our display settings you want to make sure your windowed mode is set to full screen the reason being because it will give you the least input delay and as it even says it will make your game run the fastest for your resolution you want to keep this at native res even if you're using a stretch res you still want to have that set to full screen in 1920 1080 but if your pc is really bad and struggling to get fps then you can set this to 1600 times 900 so now moving on to your frame rate this does depend on the monitor you have so I have a 240Hz monitor, so I will be using 240fps. There is no reason why anyone should be using 360fps because there is no way in endgame you're going to be getting that. So if you do have a 144Hz monitor, you can keep that at 144. But if you do have a decent PC and you are using performance mode, you can set that to 160. But if you are struggling to get FPS, then you should keep that at 144. Moving on to the graphics quality, this next step is going to be optional, but lowering your 3D resolution can slightly increase your FPS. 
I would recommend not going any lower than 80%. Going lower than 80% is obviously going to make your game look terrible, but just slightly lowering your res will give you a little FPS boost. And now moving on to your graphics quality, you just want to turn all of these settings to low. And also, you do want to be using low meshes. Going into our advanced graphics settings, make sure your VSync is turned off. And turn on show FPS just to see what your FPS is. And now I'm assuming you guys know what I'm using already. And now the most important setting you do want to have turned on is performance mode. Performance mode is better for getting FPS compared to DX11 or 12. The only downside of using performance mode is obviously your graphics, but you are going to be getting the most amount of FPS on performance mode. So if you're on DX11 or DX12, then you need to switch to performance mode. So once you switch to performance mode, you need to make sure you restart your game in order for it to work. And now the last setting you do need to change is your sound quality settings. You want to make sure your sound quality settings is set to low. There is no reason why you should have this on high, but having it on low will increase your FPS. So that is the end of today's video. I hope this did help all of you guys out to get more FPS. If this video did help you out, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And of course, the best way to support me is to become a channel member or to use my code whiteout in the item shop. So with all that said, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Run away from the past and the nonsense Tired of toxic ends that I